Morning, everybody. I just got up and got some coffee. I'm going to go on a morning stroll. I moved the bees last night from the courtyard, those two swarms, to put them where they go. And then I also want to check on the new bees I got and check on some other things out there. So come on, let's go have a stroll and check it out. All these bees are doing good. We moved this hive here. Let's see if I can show you this one right here and this one from the courtyard. Those were the two that were the swarms. So I moved those last night, gave them some syrup and uh everybody's happy they're doing great so now let's go check on the new one all right let's see how they're doing they seem to be doing pretty good nice and strong And they are just going into the one hive there instead of the one next to it because it does have a little bit of opening on there but but they're doing good so great all right all oh, the plants are looking a lot better uh kane carried out about 60 gallons of water last night and then of course it rained you know so <laughs> that's how it always goes isn't it oh my goodness but they're looking good everything's looking awesome so if it doesn't rain too much today I can actually get that little section made for some lettuce and spring onions and radishes so and it looks like the little oh yeah I don't know if you can tell but you can actually see I can right there that my little tomatillos have actually grown <laughs> cool good deal all right, guys, let's check the other little garden. See what's happening over there. I was worried about it. I thought something got one of my banana peppers in there and I think it did. Yeah, but, oh, there you go. Eggplant's looking much better, much, much better. Banana peppers, much better. And the peas are coming up back there. That's good. And all the broccoli. And then these two wax peppers down here are looking really good. And the cucumbers in the corner. So looks like everything's doing good. I'm happy about that. Yay. And I guess uh, we got a lot of stuff to do this weekend, but, but um, the garden won't be one of them. And then I have to go do some work on Monday at my parents' house, but then Monday evening, I think I'm gonna come back out here to the garden and finish it up with the uh, beans and the beets and uh, the other things I wanted to get in there because it's supposed to be cool on Monday and I love working out when it's cool. So I'll probably finish the garden up Monday. That's the plan anyway. So just out here lolling around, having my coffee and taking it easy something actually pushed all of my flowers up in the front of the house so I got to go back up there and put them back in lovely huh I'll show you they are that one's been pushed up this one's been pushed up that one's completely out I mean I don't know what's doing it but Here's my little rose bush. Um, this has been here since we got here and I cut it back every year and it grows back up. But I have a little tree behind it and I really don't want it there, but I'm afraid if I move it, it will never be as healthy. And so I just leave it there. I put a little trellis behind it and uh, give it something to hang on to, but I'm not real happy about that. I'm, I would really like to move it, so we'll see. But for now, I guess I better get busy and uh, fix these flowers so they can actually grow and live. All right, got them back in. That's funny. There we go. I was gonna say, looked like it was white on top because the glare. But anyway, got them all back in. So all is well. Yes, there's something down in there, a mole or something pushing them out. So I'm gonna have to put some spearmint gum down in there or something. So anyway. I'm making a mama bird mad. She's living in the eve of our shed. Woo. 
She's living in the eave of our shed. I'll show she you. She has a nest up in there. She uh, has gotten all that loose and has made a nest in there. She did this last year too, and we had to fix it. So she's got babies up there though, there she goes. So I'm waiting for the babies to get grown and get gone, and then we're gonna do something that can be maybe more permanent up there so that she can't do that anymore. But so she hisses at me and throws fits every time I'm out here. She'll have to get over it. I'm glad all my flowers finally got some water. We didn't water these last night when we did the garden because we were just focusing on the garden. It was getting late after we made our Stromboli video for uh, Grit and Gumption. But I got this little glass hummingbird heater uh, feeder yesterday uh, filled. I got it like, I don't know, four months ago, Goodwill. Um, these are rubber and you just unscrew them. And this whole thing is like a cracked glass. It's really cute. So they've been drinking out of it because I've been watching them. They came back this year, so happy about that. Thrilled about it, as a matter of fact. So can't wait to see them actually this afternoon when Kane gets off work. And then the top of my bird bath broke, totally cracked, but I did find a big bowl at Goodwill and I put it on there, put a rock in there so that the birds can have something to get onto. We'll go check it out, I'll show you. And then we'll look at the creek. There we go. I tried to make a rock so that it was up high out of the water so they have something to land on. So Kane wasn't getting my concept when I tried explaining it to him. So looks like I'm gonna have to clean off the top of the water this morning. So in my birdhouses, I'm gonna have to repaint them. They're getting kind of weathered. There's that one. Show you the other ones here. <laughs> this little trailer has seen better days. <laughs> but that's that one. And um, there's this one over here. And it's seen better days too. I'm gonna have to take them all down and paint them after this year. So there's that one. They had flowers on them. They were thrown out and uh, nobody wanted them. So I took them. And then this feeder here, or shall I say birdhouse over here, um, got some wrens that live in there and she's got some babies, but it needs to be painted this year too. So maybe later this fall, I'll get it or when the babies are gone, we'll see. Let's go look at the creek. Take my morning stroll with me. Gotta check out what's going on. Here we planted a little uh, walnut tree. It'll take it quite a while, I'm sure, but we have them all over the place. And I told Kane, I said, put one where you took that one tree out. It'd be nice to have a big walnut tree out there. Give us some shade. So, oh yeah, the creek's low. Still having problems with uh, the groundhogs though. But look, it's really low. Look at that bar there the sandbar but beautiful morning looks like the boys tackle box is still out there it's been out there for a month crazy all right well anyway also I finally got rid of the camise pear that was here that uh, Betty our goat killed and we put in another one that just came in but it doesn't look healthy doesn't even look like it's alive to me but I'll show it to you there we go We'll see what happens. See, the top looks like this. It doesn't even look good. But got it from Lowe's in Fort Wayne. Had to order it. I hope it makes it. I'm going to have to put a big cage around it today, I think. So I'll make sure I get that done. All the lilacs are gone. There's like a couple little purple pieces left. That's it. But so now sad. this is uh, blooming. So... This is great. I don't really know what it even is. We brought it from the other house. But it's very pretty. I keep it trimmed every year. Try to keep it looking good around the bottom there. So anyway, I like it. It gives us a little privacy back here on the deck. So you see the deck's just right there. So all right, guys, that's the end of coffee and a stroll. <laughs> so I'm going to drink the rest of that cup. It's got about half of a cup left coffee in it. And I'm going to go in and get dressed and get busy for the day. Today I'm going to can some corn. So 
come back tomorrow and check that video out. I hope you guys have a great day. I hope that it's just nice and relaxing and no stress for you. Take care. Bye.